every day, brings along with it, new challenges, and unexpected issues. But when we commit our every day to God, He will take care of us. Do not start your day without the worker's prayer. Arise and shine, be blessed. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, victory is yours. One more week beginning today, Monday, the first working day of the week, the day of victory, the day of the strong nation, about 50 seven minutes we are going to be together in the first gathering of the strong nation of the day at six o'clock in the morning as well at ten o'clock in the morning and most especially at five o'clock in the afternoon when we are going to have 70 70 servants 70 anointed men and women of God who is going to determine victory who is going to determine success who is going to determine the open doors for you we are going to prophesy that financially speaking, your life will never be the same. You are meant to be at the top and not at the bottom. Enough of losses, enough of failure, enough of defeat, enough of death, enough of not being able to have what you desire, enough. You are not meant to have a history of losses, a history of misery, a history of poverty. Perhaps to this day, it has been so in your life. God is going to do new greater things in your life. Extraordinary results will begin to take place. Listen to me. You are supposed to be victorious. You are supposed to be successful. You are supposed to be the head. Do not accept to be down. Maybe today you heard from someone there is no way for you you were born poor and you will die poor. You were born to suffer. You will never be happy in life. You will never redeem what you lost. If someone used by darkness told you such, God is using me now to tell you it is a lie. Yes, it is a lie. Because you were born to be happy, to win, to succeed, to conquer, to be prosperous. And you will if you have a pact with God. My name is Marissa and before coming to the Universal Church, I had a lot of financial problems. Financial problems was due to a lack of finances because I wasn't working. And sometimes I will have money, but the money will not remain in my hands. One day I was invited to the Universal Church, where I learned to be faithful in my first fruits, to return to God in my tithes and my offering. And, I, and as a result of being faithful to God, God has opened the doors for me. Coming on Mondays, participating in the Strong Nation service, I learned to use my faith. The Strong Nation gave me courage, gave me strength, I began to receive ideas to open my own business. Those of you who are watching this testimony, come to the Monday service, Strong Nation, if you want to open your own business, if you want to receive vision to open your business, ideas to open your own business, you will succeed. Listen to me. Faith bring certainty, assurance. If you want to see the power of God in your finances, there is only one way. You must have a pact with the Word of God. When you have a pact with the Word of God, you have the assurance that all your projects will become reality. Faith never disappoints. Faith is the key that opens the doors of prosperity. And when you are in faith and you have a pact with the word of God, the impossible 
becomes possible. Hi, good evening. What is your name? My name is Marlon. Hi, Marlon. You came to the Strong Nation today and you have your pact with God. What is your experience you received today? My experience today, well, I learned that we mustn't try to do things because we must always put ourselves in a positive to always do something, not, not to try. Right, so that is what I learned today in this meeting. So you took the words you received today and you'll apply it now for your financial life? Yes, inside of my life I would apply because no longer I would try to, you know, to go out to get jobs. I will do what I have to do to get the jobs. Will you continue in this chain of prayer next Monday? Yes, I will. I will be here. Thank you for sharing with us. Okay. Are you experiencing challenges and problems in your finances? Losses? Failures, debts, blockages, unemployment, business not doing well, low income, unable to provide for your family, frustrated, depressed due to your finances, give us a call, text or WhatsApp us now, 3899880 or 709-8062. We are ready to help you. So my dear friend, this is what is happening. People's lives are being transformed. You see people's experiences after they have been with us last Monday and the previous Mondays. So today, will be no different. Six o'clock in the morning before you get to work. 10 o'clock in the morning for you who are unemployed, for you who are pursuing a career, for you who are about to register your business, for you who have certain commitments, for you to have meetings, for you to have appointments, for you who are going to go for interviews. 10 o'clock in the morning, you who have debts, you are going to bring your paperwork. As well, 5 o'clock in the afternoon, the main gathering of the day, when we are going to have 70 7070 anointed men and women of God who will determine your financial breakthrough because you are supposed to be the head and not the tail. Three great opportunities today for you to receive your blessing. You can be the next one to be testifying because the power of God remains the same. It has never changed. It's now our moment of prayer. The worker's prayer. This is our moment of prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I determined that this day will be the great day of new things, extraordinary miracles, breakthrough, victory to all those who will be joining us in this strong nation. My Father, when your people, they set their foot in your house, your power will be released from heaven to break the chains of misery, poverty, failure, losses, and everything else that might have been an obstacle, that might have impeded your people to see the results they want to see. Because there is no crisis, there is no curse, there is absolutely nothing that can prevail over your power. So I call on you right now and I ask of you, oh God, release your power from heaven and bring about an answer to the lives of all those who now pray with me. And most especially those who are preparing themselves to join us today. My God, because when your people, they set their foot in your house, it's going to happen that their lives will change. People, my father, from San Fernando, Chaguana, Zarima, Tunapuna, Sangue Grande, Meiaro, Cunúpia, Cuva. People, my God, from Vista Bela, Marabela. People, my father, as far as Togo, people as far as Cidras. People, my God, from every single city. People from every single village in Trinidad and Tobago. My God, I ask of you right now that you may reach out to those who now pray with me and give them the strength give them the courage, give them the power, give them the boldness, give them the determination, the audacity to get to your house in order to take possession of what is theirs. Because you have, oh God, called us to success. You have called us to victory. You have called us, my God, to take possession. So make your people possessors. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, greater, new, and extraordinary miracle 
miracles. Today will begin to take place in the life of those who now pray with me. Bless our nation, the governors, the leaders, the authorities of our country. Bless the economy. Bless, oh God, the citizens and the immigrants, the private and the public sector. Bring healing upon Trinidad and Tobago. For I surrender all into your hands. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And those who agree and believe say, Amen. So my friend, today is your day. Today is the day for you to start rewriting your story. Today is the day for you to set targets and see it come to pass. Enough of failure, enough of losses. You are meant to succeed. See more what is waiting for you in the strong nation today. And get yourself ready. Because what God has in store for you will amaze you tremendously. Arise and shine. Be blessed. Together, we are strong. You might have lost it all. You might have lost it all. Car. House. Job. Business. Opportunities. Even your family. You may be at the bottom of a pit right now. But you did not lose your faith. And your faith will make you stand again. And God will give you twice as much everything you lost if you enter into a pact with Him. He will restore. He will enable you to redeem. He will enable you to conquer. He will take you out from this pit bottle. And He's going to make you to be at the hilltop. This is what God will do for you.